Hi everybody, welcome to this video on how to count cells based on cell color. We will look at two different approaches on how to count cells based on their cell color. The first approach that we will be using is by using the get cell method and the second method that we are using is using the subtotal and filter by color. So let us start by looking at the get cell and the counter method. The get cell is an old macro function that, re that reads cell attributes. Here we will use get cell to read the foreground color of a cell. We cannot use the get cell method like we use a normal formula. We will need to use the name manager, which we can access by navigating to the formulas bar. And under that, we have name manager. So, before we get into that, we will use a helper column to help us count the number of color cells. First, let us click on the cell where we want to get the count. This step is very important. So we will we want the formula here or the count to come in this helper column. So let us start by clicking on the first cell. Then I go to name manager, new, and I will give a formula name, count cell, delete this equal to get dot cell the, it, the get dot cell here we would give is two parameters the first parameter is 38 38 returns the shade of the foreground color of the cell that you're looking it will return something between 1 to 56 based on the colors and 0 if the color is chosen as automatic and after 38 comma then i want to give click on the cell that i want it to retrieve the color for so which here is d5 now here you can see that it has a uh, fixed reference with the dollar sign so i want to remove the dollar signs because i want it i want to drag this formula down i can do that easily by pressing f4 pressing f4 till the dollar signs disappear now i can just say, simply say this and i have this in this helper column now i can say equal to count so i can now see the formula that i had written count cell hit enter and it says now it has converted this color into a numerical form I can now just simply drag this and it will show me the numbers. So green has now turned, has been translated into 43, yellow to a 6, blues to a 37, and a grays to a 15. Now let us go to the second part of it, which is getting the count. So now if I want to know how many green cells are there i can i will now use the countif function so I, if i want to say i will countif is a normal formula so i can e say equal to count if now what is my range so this is the range that i want it comma and i want to count the greens so i want to count 43 how many 43s are there so it says 3 if i want to count the yellows equal to count if my range yellow is 6 blue count if And blue is 37 and i can now count 
the grays which is 15. So in a few minutes I could easily count how many colored cells are there. So there are a couple of disadvantages for using the get cell function. The first is that this get cell function or this formula will not work for conditional formatting. So if you have something for conditional formatting, I think VBA is the only way to go. And the other other problem that you will have is that you cannot save it as a normal Excel file. If you have if you are using the get cell formula or the get cell method, you will have to save your file as a macro enabled workbook or with the extension of XLSM. However, there is a way one good thing about this is that this formula is dynamic. That is if you are if for example if you have your calculations option in the formulas if your calculation option is to automatic and I just change any of the cells here you see that this is changed to 43 automatically and the count itself was changed. Now this will not work if this is set to manual. For example this is this will not work. So if you want this get cell and count if combination to be dynamic always ensure that your formula calculation option is set to automatic so that will help you to get a dynamic count so as and when your cell changes cell color changes your helper column will get updated and your total count will keep getting updated as well the second method that we will look at today is the subtotal and filter by color the subtotal function a subtotal formula takes two arguments the function number and the range for which to subtotal so let us quick look so first and foremost we will the subtotal and as you can see this gives you all the options for your first parameter if you are to take the count of all your visible cells not all the cells you will have to give 102 select 100 102 will give you the count of the visible cells after you have put in a filter that is it ignores any hidden values after that you will just put in your range my range here is this table and I just hit enter now it is showing me as 13 however if I want to just find out how many filter by color green cells are there, I will just filter by color, say green, and it is giving me three. If I want to go for grays, it is showing me four. If I go back and clear all filters, it goes back to 13. So this will give you at that point in time how many cells are visible, and if you combine it by filter by color you can get the number of colored cells as a result of this formula so if you want you can use the helper column with the get cell and the count if method with the obvious uh, problem that it is not a, it will you will have to save the file as a uh, macro enabled workbook but if you are okay with a quick uh, if you want to just get a quick count, you can use the subtotal and filter by color method as well. So, hope this video was useful to you. Do let us know in the comments if you face any issues implementing any of the methods that we described. Thank you and have a wonderful day.